Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you what new functions are offered in the IMC Studio 5.0 as compared to the former 4.0 version. We will be concentrating on the greater usability of the program, that is, the simplicity to configure and start a measurement. This being said, I would now like to show you the different views that have changed in the new program. So let's get started. Starting on the Setup plugin, here you can see that in the upper ribbon controls, the important functions of the program are quite simple to find. For example, you can find the Setup button or the Show Panel button, where you can easily navigate back and forth between these frequently used plugins. Here, under the tab Device, we have already selected our desired device. Under the tab Analog Channels, we now find the channels which have a time history. A new feature in IMC Studio 5.0 is the addition of the tab Variables. Here you can find various variables such as PV and display variables. Another new tab on the Setup plugin is GPS. By clicking on this tab, you are able to configure all GPS channels that are available. Under the tab Extras, or under the View section, depending on which view you are using, you now have the possibility to change the view. In the Views area, in this drop-down, you have three different selections. However, as you already know from the previous IMC Studio versions, you also have the ability to create your own user-defined view. For now, however, the default setting is the standard view. If you choose the compact view, you will see that the main differences here is that it unifies three setup tabs into one. On the left hand side you can see the analog channels where you can find the table views which allow you to change the configurations. On the right hand side you have the tab by tab configuration which normally appears on the bottom of the page. And in the bottom area of the page you can now find the available devices. And as you can see you have the ability to easily change the different areas of the setup page. You also have the possibility to view the page in the complete view. This view appears as the same view you already know from the former IMC Studio 4.0. On the left side, you can find the various plugins. For example, the home page, setup, panel, automation, sequencer, and data processing. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.